Now, as we saw a little earlier, the president of the upcoming COP26 talks in Glasgow has been giving a speech ahead of the summit in November. Uh, the meeting will bring world leaders from some 200 countries together to tackle the issue of climate change. Alex Sharma said the conference would be the moment of truth and the last hope to keep rising global temperatures to 1.5 degrees Celsius. In 2015, the world signed the Paris Agreement. This is an international deal to tackle the climate crisis, which commits us to limit global temperature rises to well below 2 degrees, aiming for 1.5. And that 1.5 degree target is critical. Indeed, every fraction of a degree makes a difference. The science shows that a temperature rise of 2 degrees rather than 1.5 would mean hundreds of millions more people affected, twice as many plant and three times as many insect species losing far swathes of their habitat. But since that 1.5 target was set, since the Paris Agreement was signed, the world has not done nearly enough. All the time, the science is getting starker, and it will continue to do so. And now, to keep 1.5 degrees within reach, to keep 1.5 alive, we must halve global emissions by 2030. So this is the decisive decade, and we must act now to launch a consistent and concerted effort to reduce emissions throughout the next 10 years, and to use the COVID-19 recovery to reimagine our economies. Because the investments we make today, as we repair the economic damage inflicted by the pandemic, will shape this decade. Whether we like it or not, whether through action or inaction, we are now choosing the future. This is what makes the next United Nations Climate Conference in Glasgow, COP26, so critical. If we do not take this chance to keep 1.5 degrees alive, it will slip from our grasp. And so will our best hope of building the future we want to see. So COP26 must be the moment that every country and every part of society embraces their responsibility to protect our precious planet and keep 1.5 alive. The president of COP26, Alex Sharma, there speaking in Glasgow.